Hi everyone and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this opportunity to come together to meditate on God's word and pray for a few moments. This week we're talking about repentance and how you and I as believers when we go into go to God's presence, he forgives our sins and restores us. This week we'll talk about time of discipline. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 to 29. If we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of the truth, no sacrifice for sins is left, but only a fearful expectation of judgment and a raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. Anyone who rejected the law of Moses died without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much more severely do you think Someone deserves to be punished who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, who has treated as an unholy thing the blood of the covenant that sanctified them and who has insulted the Spirit of grace. For we know him who said, It is mine to avenge, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. Sin has its consequences. We have learned from the Bible and personally how life without God brings terrible results. In today's verses, we are reminded that we must not keep on sinning after we have received the truth. In other words, once we have received salvation through Jesus Christ, it is time to change our ways. It is time to change our thoughts, our behavior, our actions, our words. And we can do that only through God's strength. Otherwise, God may decide to discipline us. When we face difficult times, we should think of it as God is disciplining us. If it is, then we must repent and not return to the sins that God is disciplining us for. Perhaps we are lonely because we have allowed relationships to break. Friends and families have forsaken us, maybe because of our behavior. With the Holy Spirit's help, you and I can get right with God, right with others, and restore our relationships. But why does God discipline us? He's a good Father who wants us to do what's best for us. Humanly speaking, no child will reach his or her full potential without training or discipline. Here are some things what God dis God's discipline does. God disciplines His children because He loves them. He disciplines His children to make them more mature. He disciplines His children to increase their capacity and virtue. He disciplines His children to grow them in their faith. God disciplines His children to purify them from sin. The result of God's discipline is holiness and maturity. The Lord continues to work with us as a potter does to the clay. And His discipline for our, is for our good and for His glory. Whatever our sin, whatever our situation, today we can open our lives to the Savior. Currently, right now, you may be in a time of discipline, but it is also a time of salvation. So repent and rejoice. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your hand upon us. We thank you that you direct our path to God. Lord, that even when we go on the wrong way, oh God, you're a God who brings us back to the right path. As your word declares, God, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he will delight in his ways. And I pray, God, that no matter what season you take us through, Lord, that we will delight in your ways and know that, Lord, we can rejoice no matter what season, no matter what situation we're going through, that the joy of the Lord will be our strength. We thank you, Father. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.